Well, it is 6.36. I've got Chris out of the house. Got grandma's, my mom's lunch on the stove, heating up so I can put it in the uh, thermos and it will be hot for her lunch. Got this happening. I am, <clears throat> I've already like, no, stop doing that. No, no, that is mommy's. All right, so I've had a very productive morning already. Not just getting, you know, Chris up and packed and out the door and breakfast on the table. Um, I got, I, I cannot believe it's just Thursday. Just cannot believe it's just Thursday. I for real need it to be like Friday. Although Friday is gonna be a big day because tomorrow is the kids fun run for the Akron Marathon and the expo, like big doings, big goings on. Um, what is that? I can't see it. Oh, okay. You can have your magic wand. Anyway, um. Oh gosh, nothing you should fix, nothing. Why don't you fix that hairbrush by putting it in the bathroom where it belongs? Oh, I think she might do it. Uh, anyway, uh, I sat down and looked at um, Chris's paychecks online, and then I added in all of the hours that he worked each week so that the uh, little estimator that I have in the um, Excel sheet will be semi-close to right on his PTO hours. Why don't you go and fix the um, the fan? This? Yeah, fix that. Uh, the PTO hours uh, estimator. You know, it's like so many hours times this tiny fraction, and that's how many you earn each week. And I have a little calculator in there to keep us. It's not exactly correct, but it kind of gives me a pretty good idea of what he has, so that we can plan accordingly as a family. So. Went in and did that, got that all taken care of, just looked at my numbers. Um, then I know that this paycheck this week is the week that I have the plumber money um, being taken out of, the cash flowed out of this paycheck back to the sinking funds that I borrowed from to replenish those. So I needed to figure out which two they were. Because, yay! Go fix the bathtub. Um, I took uh, a whole bunch out of the Christmas sinking fund and then I, I had like that $10 bill. I had to find like two fives or whatever. I could not find. It was only 20. It's like there was nothing smaller than a 20 in the, the Christmas fund. So I knew there was a second one that I had like $10 out of. So I counted the um, Christmas money to make sure that that was right. And there was 140 that came out of that exactly what I thought. Everything except that $10. I want you fix under the sink. Um, I figured out where that was. That wasn't the house fund, which totally makes sense, right? Um, so I'm gonna put 40, 140 back in the Christmas fund and ten dollars back in the house fund. So that took a minute because I had to like count a bunch of envelopes. Um, but that's figured out. And then I actually made a note in my spreadsheet so that if I forget, because like I'll know that I. Did it but I don't remember what the outcome was I made a note in the thing so that I can go back and look at it so uh, then I also prepped up my um, my bank stuff which consists of making a list of all the withdrawals I need um, like food money uh, restaurant money like this grocery money restaurant money Chris's weekly um, like in this case there's money for Columbus like a list of what they all are and you know they're all labeled and then I total it down at the bottom so I have a total amount that I need and then um, 
that helps me discern like how many fives I need so that I can make the ten dollars and because there's like two things that are 50 in there so I need like twenty dollars and fives blah 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 so I have that and then um I pulled all of the envelopes that I will be stuffing um, on Friday out and separated them. I had to make a new envelope for Columbus because they didn't have one. And um, I put those all in my purse so that when I go to the bank, I have them. And even if I take it out to the car or bring it home, everything's together and I can stuff it right away. I could make it right. Um, then I got my this list here. And I'm making, this is my list of stuff. It's the thing, the garlic powder at the top, if I find that, I'm gonna buy it whenever. It, it, I, have, I have money for it in the groceries, it's cool. But whenever I find that, I'm gonna buy that um, at Aldi's, typically is what I'm looking for. And then these other three things down here, this kind of like middle, lower list here, these are all things that I totally am like, getting sketchy on. Um, that I'm gonna need to buy like the first week in October. First thing, breakfast sausage, which is fine because I knew I was gonna be like, I had just enough for the month. There wasn't like a ton of extra storage there. Um, dishwasher soap tabs, I had plenty of them but then the kids got in them the other day and they wasted, I don't know, a whole bunch of them, like four or five. Anyway, it's like made a total difference and like, I'm not even sure I can run the dishwasher like one time a day for now until the end of the month. What, honey? Hi. Sister? You guys need to learn to get along. What does she take? The screwdriver? The fidget spinner? What does she take? Hi. Water? Say hi. hi. She can let her have that stupid pen. Unless that was my pen. Was that my pen? You need to bring it back then. Um, and then of course the olive oil. I have, I had a glass thing with like a little pori spout on it. What? You have to wait. With the pori spout on it. And I took my big jug, my gallon, liter, three liter, whatever it is of olive oil and filled it up. And dropped it. Shattered. Glass and olive oil went in the layer. And of course... That was the end of the olive oil. So I am dealing with like a serious lack of fats. It's causing me to use like the stick butter that I've been, that I bought and that's causing the stick butter to run out like super faster than I anticipated. So I cannot afford to spend $20, 17 something on olive oil during no spend timber. So in the spirit of no spend temper, I am just trying to figure it out. So like when I've been, if I, if I use that Sam's breakfast sausage, that puts off a ton, there's a ton of fat in that. So it puts off a lot of like grease. So sometimes like every two or three days, I will pull one of those and cook it and like pour the grease off so that I have like enough grease for like two or three days to like cook all my other stuff in. So, um, I had some ghee in the, the, um, the cabinet from... When I first started doing um, Bulletproof, and before I knew I could have butter, and which ghee is just clarified butter, so I don't know why everyone would be like, you can have that. It's the same stuff. So anyway, um, I've used almost all of that, like, and it is the 21st. Like, oh my gosh, I still got like 10 days of trying to figure this out, and I'm committed to like figuring it out, so. But this is what, this is part of the exercise of the no spend timber. It is, it is getting to these hardships and like figuring it out. It's not just like collapsing and going, I, I give in, I'm going to spend money. That's like the whole point is to like not do that, is to like stretch and challenge and move and flex and all of those things to like become a better budgeter <laughs> and 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 learn to be a budget better doer with what you have or because really if you do with what you have um like nine times out of ten you are gonna save too much money so 
Anyway, that's my morning thing already. That was a lot. That was like 10 minutes of talking that I did not plan to do. Grandma's here. Ta-da. Well, it's gonna be 90 today here in Akron, so I have shut the house up. Right now I have the fans. See the fan right here going? And have the hot air conditioning set at 78 because I need to sleep well tonight. And I don't know that the heat is what's causing the not sleeping or if it's the ragweed or what, but action must be taken. And two things, if it's the heat, the air conditioning solves it. If it's a ragweed, the air conditioning significantly reduces it. So also in other news, the most hilarious news ever is in Colorado Springs, the mad pooper is on the loose. Yes, it's exactly what you think when I say the mad pooper. I mean, there is a person pooping in front yards, like specific front yards at possibly Walgreens and other parks. And on top of it, there are pictures of this person. It's a lady. She's a runner. And the person clearly knows they're going to be doing it because they bring like pooping implements, like paper towels to wipe with and stuff like they it's incredible I mean they have pictures of her like not her face but well some of them are like her face but they're like like this like where you're only seeing like you know like you can't see the whole thing but like oh man I'd be on run keeper for real I would and see who's been running in the neighborhood lady wise <laughs> okay, so I'm going to read you some news. Okay, and this is an actual article. It says, there's no use in trying to skirt around this. So let's cut straight to the chase. A Colorado Springs wo woman has been taking big craps in front of someone's house. Dude, that's an actual article. <laughs> like, news. Just going to give you all a minute to mull that over. All right, so this is a direct quote. I'm reading it to you. They are like, there's a lady taking a poop. So I come outside and I'm like, are you serious? Bud, B-U-D-D-E, recalls, are you really taking a poop right there in front of my kids? She's like, yeah, sorry. I don't even know what to say about this exchange.